Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I wanna review with you some of the Pandora charms that I purchased and the different bracelet designs that I created. So all of these charms were purchased during the Black Friday sale. So the first bracelet design here is my Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast bracelet. So it's a bracelet combination with those two collections and I didn't kind of divide the bracelet in half with one per each. I just kind of randomly placed them on here for how I thought they looked good. I'll go pretty quickly through these charms with you. The first one is Susie Mouse with the needle and thread and Pandora did such a fantastic job with the enamel work on this charm. It's just beautiful. I know a lot of people were a little bit offset with the color of the enamel and wishing it was blue and actually I kind of agree with them. I think if it was a blue thread that would have been amazing. Uh, the next to that one is a retired charm. It's called Cinderella's Wish and it's got that beautiful blue CZ there. And then I have Cinderella's Sparkling Slipper. So Pandora recreated this charm and made it, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a slipper charm and it has some of the mice riding inside the slipper. It's really cute. But I picked this one up on clearance and I'm really pleased with it. I think the um, CZ detail is really nice and the little cute little bow at the top there. So I'm really pleased with this one. The bail is very plain on it, but that's okay. And then this charm here was released last year. It's called, um, it's called Midnight Pumpkin Charm. And so on one side, you've got the pumpkin, the coach there, and you see that little heart at the bottom. Some beautiful scroll work around the edge of this button charm. And kind of, I call this like the little fireworks design there. But this is so cute. You've got the clock, and of course it's at midnight. The clips on this bracelet are just the CZ star clips. They're not uh, Disney, but I think they suit really well. And unless I find something that I like better, that's what's gonna be on here. And now we have the first of my Black Friday charms. And the first one is called the Enchanted Rose Dangles. And this charm was a must have for me. I just think that the mosaic is just stunning on the back of this charm. So no matter which way you look at this charm, it's just so pretty. It's just, it reminds me of a stained glass window. And I think Pandora is kind of really thinking outside the box with their different uses of Murano glass and creating like a really slim charm with Murano glass. And then next to it is a two-tone and this one is called Pumpkin Coach. And so you've got that gold crown on top and the little heart design. It's a very lightweight charm and you can see the hearts at the bottom. And then we come to Cinderella's dream heart with the blue CZs. And then the back has a really nice clear inscription. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Now this next charm is not technically a Disney charm, but, but you can see that it matches Cinderella's wish perfectly. So I kind of wish that Pandora made this one to be like Belle's wish. Um, but instead, they just called it the Inner Radiance. And I received this charm um, as a gift from a very special lady, and I'm really pleased with it. And I think it looks great on this bracelet to have the two together. Now, this next charm was my number one pick from the new Beauty and the Beast charms. And it's Belle and Beast Dancing Dangle. And isn't that adorable? Like such fine details. I think this charm you're going to have to be a little bit careful with because I do think it could get bent a little bit easily because this is pretty fine and delicate, but just a stunning charm. And I love the color of the enamel. Um, so the enamel goes really well with the Bell Murano. You can see them together here. And then next to Bell's Murano, I have a Cinderella charm. So it, this one is called Cinderella's Magical Moment Dangle. And it's the moment when her dress transforms. So they use the CZ detail that kind of wraps around. This one is a hefty charm, like you feel it when it's on your bracelet. And then I've got the retired original Mrs. Potts charm. So Pandora recreated this one and made a Mrs. Potts dangle. If I'm gonna be honest, I wish Pandora wouldn't recreate charms. I wish they would have given us more charms in the Beauty and the Beast. 
like how fun would it have been to have a like Luminaire or you know what I mean? Like just some of the other characters featured rather than having two of Mrs. Potts. Although the new one is super cute because Chip is dangling so sweetly and he's a little bit more tucked into this design here. But anyway, that's just my opinion. And then the final charm I picked up to kind of offset the Susie, the Susie Mouse charm, that pink enamel. And this one I picked up in the 50% off sale. And it's called Belle's Radiant Rose. And in the middle of this charm, you can see that there is a cutout rose. And it is a lot more obvious when you're outside in natural light, but there is a rose cutout in the center. And it's really, really pretty and sparkly. So this is my updated um, Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast bracelet. I'm using these two charms here. So these were my Black Friday purchases, the Enchanted Rose Dangle and the Beauty and the Beast Dancing Dangle. And I think it completes this bracelet. I don't know if I'm going to be adding much more to this, but you just never know. Never say never. Now the next bracelet design is one that I already shared with you in my part two of my Black Friday haul. And so I've got the Crazy Clips. And this is the leopard print charm, which goes really well with the enamel in Simba's ears, this Disney baby here. And then in the heart closure, I've got the angel wing and heart, or some people call it the love and guidance charm. And on this charm, that is a 14 karat gold heart that is dangling in front of the angel wing. And this charm is surprisingly still available. Pandora has not retired it, and it's gotta be one of their oldest charms that they have in inventory. And then on the other side, I've got the Clouded Leopard Murano with the Lion King charm here. So this is um, the bracelet I picked out for the Black Friday sale. So I got this heart closure. And then I also picked up this beautiful little Simba here. So this is two more of my Black Friday purchases. This next bracelet design shows another two charms that I purchased in the Black Friday sale. And it's also giving you a first look of an autumn design that I'm creating right now. So I'm happy with how it's coming together. It might be finished, I might be tweaking it, I'm not sure. But I'll go over some of the charms I have on this autumn bracelet with you. So to cover up the threads on the bracelet, I've got the dark green pave lights. And this charm here, like, do you remember when Pandora first made all of the pave lights? And I think they did every color they possibly could. And then it kind of led into a lot of CZs into the collection. So um, I like the pave lights. I just don't find them that special, but they do add a nice little, you know, bling to the bracelet. And, but next to the pave lights is the beautiful peacock charm. And he has two different colors of CZs. At the top is a nice dark green, and then you have a lighter blue at the bottom. And the little peacock, like look at the top of his head. I don't remember what that feather is called, but just so much extra detail on this charm. He is a flipper, like when you just kind of hold him like this. Look at the back there, all that nice detail. But I find when I'm wearing this guy on a bracelet, he actually stays in place. Like it's just kind of, yeah, he, he stays in place really well. So he flips, you know, when you're holding it, but on a bracelet, he does really well. Um, so then I've got a Pandora Rose Sparkling Leaves Dangle. And you've got that beautiful yellow CZ with clear. But look at the bale, you guys. Look at the leaf imprints and just that extra special touch. And Pandora even put a little inscription on here that says, come fly with me. And I think it's supposed to be the flying leaves in autumn. And yeah, just that little extra attention there. And next to the leaf is an oldie. It's called the birds of a feather. And so again, you've got that dark green CZ you have 14 karat gold bird, and it looks like they're just sitting among the tree branches. There's some silver birds as well. And then there's the gold bird. Just a really nice charm, just so, so detailed. Um, then I've got a dark purple faceted Murano. So this Murano I recently shared in one of my unboxings. And I was nervous I didn't get an authentic one, but I'm totally reassured that this is an authentic Murano. 
and I really like the use of the green and the purple together. So more on that to come. So next to the Murano is my clips, and this is just the sparkling row clip in Pandora Rose, and it's just really big CZs going down the center of the clip. And I think I picked this one up pre-loved. Um, then I've got the little acorn and leaf dangle, and oh my goodness, Pandora just perfected this charm. They use the perfect amount of CZs. So you do have the CZs that go around the bale, which is nice, but look at the little acorn. Perfect amount of CZs, and then they resisted. Thank you so much for resisting to put any CZs on that leaf dangle. The leaf dangle has a little bit of texture to it. Like it kind of folds up a little bit. And look at the texture at the bottom of the acorn. Just a beautiful, beautiful charm. They just did it so well. Um, I was looking at the other leaf dangle that they had, but they put in some purple CZs and some clear and pink CZs perhaps. But when I was in the store, it just didn't have that same detail for me. So I skipped on that one and I'm kind of glad I did. Um, but here we go with the squirrel and the squirrel is enamel eyes. And he is starting to oxidize. So I'm getting a little bit more of his details show up for me. And look at his little feet. They're so cute. And little hearts, right? I love when Pandora sneaks in their little hearts. And the squirrel is holding an acorn. I kind of wish Pandora did like an enamel color, like a brown enamel for the acorn. That would have been really sweet. And next to the squirrel, I have my centerpiece and one of my Black Friday charms. So this is the purple and green leaf charm. And that's exactly what Pandora named it. It's not the most imaginative name, purple and green leaf. But you can see where I sprung with this charm. So once I received this charm, actually before I even received it, when I saw it in the stock images, I kind of started designing this bracelet for it. So I started looking at the green stones with these purple Muranos, and yeah, this design just kind of came together and it all sprung out of this charm. So I did choose this one in the store and some of them had some variation for the amount of green and the amount of purple. And I tried to get one with the most amount of green I could. And then my other Black Friday purchase is right next to this green leaf and it is the cute mushroom. So when I originally showed this one in my haul video, um, I mentioned that it was black enamel eyes. And then I think it was Allie from Pandora Blue Charm. She told me it was actually CZ eyes. And you can see here how they have that little sparkle and just a really nice touch. Um, I think these two charms, the cute mushroom and the cute squirrel, look really nice together. And the mushroom, what gets me is all the extra details. So there's so many little hearts for the spots on the mushroom cap, but even underneath the mushroom cap, you've got all of that detail there. So I love this cute mushroom charm. And that's why he's in the centerpiece of this bracelet, along with the squirrel. And of course, next to the mushroom, so you see what I did there? I've got the squirrel holding his acorn with the acorn dangle. And then I've got the mushroom next to the Pandora rose mushroom. So this is just the sparkling mushroom dangle. And this little mushroom dangle has two different colors of CZs. The top is like a beautiful golden shade. And then the second mushroom is clear. And Pandora, you did a fantastic job with this. Look at the bale and how the bale has that little extra kind of detail. It looks like a little like vines almost. And then at the very bottom of the mushroom, can you see where they've got Pandora written? They did so well with these charms. And then to finish off the last section of the bracelet, I got another one of the sparkling row clip, another dark purple faceted Murano, and then I put in the wise owl and he is incredibly wise. You can just see it. Um, beautiful texture on this charm, oxidization. It's just wonderful how it repeats on the back as well. So Pandora did fantastic with this. I think the Wise Owl was released the same time as the Birds of a Feather. And then I've got another Pandora Rose Dangle. This one's still available online. 
it's called the sparkling family tree dangle so this one does open up it's just smooth on the back and when you open this one up it says family forever and it's got a nice click this one I did manage to find pre-loved but it is still available and next to it I've got another oldie and this is the vintage allure and it's synthetic green spinel and it's surrounded by 14 karat gold and this one just made it on this bracelet because I like the the color of that stone and I just needed a little bit more green on here and then to finish it off I put a clip and this clip is the grains of energy clip and unfortunately I only have one of this clip and it's kind of you know if you know my collection you know I love this whole grains theme that Pandora did I just fell for it hard because um, I just love the details and yeah, so I only managed to find one of these clips so far, but it does it does look really good on this bracelet. So again, this is my autumn bracelet. It's kind of a design in progress, but I really like where it's kind of coming together. I am hoping that I can find a clasp that's uh, Pandora Rose. I think that would really add to this bracelet. And again, these are the two Black Friday charms I purchased, the purple and green leaf and the cute mushroom. And so this is the design they ended up with. So I think I'll end the video here and in a future video I'll share with you the other um, Black Friday charms that I purchased and the Pandora designs that I've included them in. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.